No, immediately after I after I saw that picture, Lloyd. Okay. Let's flash the photo. Less Go than ahead. less than maybe two seconds. I thought about balance right away. You know, we all know that ants have have a have a strength to carry seven or maybe fifteen times their own body weight. You know, right? but you know that's beside the point. You might be able to be as strong as Superman, as strong as Iron Man, as strong as an ant. But if you don't have the balance, you'll never be able to get... To my mind, that aunt can carry anything as right. long as you so have balance. This speaks of balance rather than strength. To my mind, it's all about balance. That aunt will not, not be able to carry one if he didn't was able to balance it on this back. Okay. Yeah. That's an interesting concept. Now, let's go, to the, uh, let's go to your global strategy. Taking the main... Taking this uh, brand, the mainstream, in the United States. You don't know the geography, you don't know how people think. You, I, I don't know, but uh, my perception is like, uh, it's pretty hard to really do it. How well, did you if you, do it? Well, if you did it the way we did it, it's not pretty difficult. Yeah, I mean, obviously well, it will be. So how well, did how Well, did it started first when, because, because of the computers, because of internet, I think the world, the world is your marketplace already, just because of that. And because, because of our brand positioning and our target markets, our premium, we're on the premium side of the scale, uh, because of our prices, we're not, we've actually found a certain plateau already, plateauing on, on sites. All right. So to the Philippines were saying, maybe this is what we can do, the best we can do. Maybe we cannot do more than 500 outlets in the Philippines because of our positioning, our brand positioning. Right. So we started saying maybe, maybe global is enough. And true enough, you know, uh, because of our brand, you know, our partners in Indonesia, Malaysia, and in the U.S. have been customers, and they were sold to the product. Right. They were sold first before they joined. Yes, and it joined. wasn't because of the money, because they love the product. The the like our partner in Indonesia, we have 15 outlets in Indonesia now. Our partner there was a student in USD, an accounting student in USD. Right. And when she was, now she's 28, 30 years old, she, she calls us, she kept on calling for three years. She, we weren't ready to go international, but for three years she's, she kept on following up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Till we said, yes, okay, you know, because you love, it, you, love, you love the brand so much. <laughs> go ahead, okay, let's, let's try it. That was our first foray international. Why go, uh, why go in the mainstream? Why not introduce the potato corner as a, as a local Filipino Asian brand? Okay, in the U.S., okay, that's what we did, or even Indonesia. Malaysia will open soon. But in the U.S., this is what happened. I got a call in 2008, November, I got a call from, from some, uh, an email. Dear Mr. Magsaysa, I finally found you. When my dad was assigned in the Israeli embassy as head of security, when I was in the 90s, I was, a, I was studying in international school, and almost every day I was at Potato Corner, and I could not forget, I'm 20 years old, and I still cannot forget flavored french fries, the barbecue. And I want to bring it here now in the USA. And, 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 and it, was, uh, it was timing because I was going to be there in about a week right. and a half. So we met after a week and a half. You know, I liked them so much. They were, they were passionate. In fact, they were, they had, to me, they had equal passion for the product and for the brand. That's why right there. they are the owners. Yes, exactly. And then right there and then, because, you know, because maybe of my personality, and because of my, my, my goal always to, to be, to expand, mm. to, to my mind, critical mass is very important. To achieve critical mass, to me, is, is non-negotiable. Right. And that's what I told them. You know, if you want this to start, let's just shake hands, let all the documents to follow. Let's not be a company of big right. counters and lawyers. Let's talk about your team. I mean, uh, this could have been uh, uh, possible without the support. I mean, we, we, we have learned from school that there are rather operators, organizers, what are these th uh, three kinds of entrepreneurs? Attitudes, the organizers? Organizers, originators, and uh, executors or right. the operators. Right. So uh, let's talk about your team. How, uh, <clears throat> what, what, what was the greatest challenge? Well, to me, the greatest challenge at the time when Potato Corner started was how to grow. You know, when we opened our first outlet, I had to borrow money. My other partners, George borrowed money, Danny borrowed money. Ricky had money, so I borrowed from Ricky. <laughs> so so, Hi, Ricky. so uh, anyway, thank you, Ricky. <laughs> so we didn't have money to open the second right. outlet. You know what we did? We franchised. 
you know, because we didn't know anything about franchising that time. In 1992, franchising was new. You know, I c copied documents, yeah, yeah. researched. Right, at that point, at that <coughs> point, uh, knowing, knowing nothing much, uh, maybe close to zero, uh, it didn't restrain you from pushing on with the business. I think, Lloyd, it's also my, it's my personal, it's my personal uh, attitude towards life and maybe that transferred to the company right. as, a, as a culture of the company doing things out of the box and not scaring not being scared to be innovative you know we wrote the way french fries is cooked handled yeah i sold. think so that's the reason why potato corn was able to start in a cart and then the reason why we were able to franchise because we again we wrote things because we didn't know anything about franchising i interpreted it differently in a way to fit us i think what you have to know first Lloyd, mm -hmm. you have to know who you are mm -hmm. what you can do what you have in resources or yeah. money and then do things that will that you can do with what you have make use of what you have exactly uh, some people just think too much and um and and maybe dream that yeah. so much that they can't start anymore because they need so much already i i think people are are, are kind of thinking uh, who will be my market uh, what are their uh, concerns at all they are not really into what i am uh, what i can do for them what can i, I can share so, in a sense, one of your one of your uh, strategies or techniques, or maybe a playboy, that that you actually use is the other way around. Yes, this is who we are. This is where we are now, and I want to get there. All right. We'll do anything we can do with what we have. And you know that was always in my mind. You know, if I have so many ideas, in fact, so many ideas on the shelves back in the office, and I'm talking to several people about right. ideas. Talk to you some about those ideas. Right, right. And then to me. If you don't, if I talk to a person and the person doesn't like the idea, I do talk to another one. You know, to me, if I get get through you, I get, go around you, go under you, go over you. I get through some. Basta my, malusutan lang. Basta yung idea ko is my idea, and I think it, there's there's a way I can do it. Okay. Um, what what's inter what's another uh, another thing that interests uh, me really is uh, the idea mm. of uh, creating your own game. Where nobody can beat you. I, that's that's nice. You know, I talk right. about that, and you know, and to my mind, you know, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, supposed to be a secret strategy of the yeah. company. But because you're Lloyd Luna, I'll tell you because you invited me to your show. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I, I think wanna, we're just talking here. Talk, I, 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 I'm not too sure. much of that. But yeah. Because you know, uh, like a game of chess, in poker. Mm -hmm. Before you can win, you really have to know the game well. Mm 